Welcome to Winning Ways Express with Pastor Femi Fasheru, the resident pastor of KICC Maryland, Lagos. Winning Ways Express is a program that brings messages of hope to the hopeless and the living word to the dying world, touching lives with a timeless truth. Through his ministry of the word, Pastor Femi will enrich your life, challenge and motivate you as he proclaims the good news of Jesus Christ. Winning Ways Express with Pastor Femi Fasheru, dynamic messages that will change your life. Genesis chapter 27. The whole chapter presents to us the ordeal of Esau. His father now has gone home, grown old. Bible says that his eyes were so dim that he could not see. So he beckoned at his firstborn. Because he didn't want to end up like Elijah ended up, rather Elisha. Elisha is the prophet that was so anointed. Elisha is the prophet that was so blessed. But because of what Gehazi did, he put the leprosy of Naaman on Gehazi, his boy. And when Elijah, Elisha was done, he did not transfer the blessing, the anointing to anyone. He took it to his grave. So one day when some people were going to bury their dead and war broke out, the people remember what Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. So they decided to do away with the dead. So they looked for some, uh, some tomb somewhere and took the dead guy and just fling the dead guy in there so that they could run away. Fortunately for that dead, he landed on Elisha who was dead but his blessing, his anointing was still on his flesh. And the dead came alive. Isaac didn't want to go to his grave with the blessing of Abraham that was put upon him. So Isaac called Esau, his firstborn, and beckoned on him and told him, take your weapon, take your quiver, take your bow, and go into the forest. Go kill a game, antelope, deer, whatever you want to call a game, and cook it like you know that I like to eat it. I have a, question, a couple of questions around that. The wife was at home. He didn't have the, ask their wife to cook. I hope he wasn't married but living single. <laughs> Called Esau to go cook it. Like he liked it. In other words, that wasn't the first time Esau would give him a meal. So Esau went, and Esau's brother, younger brother, was called by his mom. I overheard your dad saying that he wants to put the blessing on your brother. You know what? I want you to go get, not a game, I want you to go get a goat. Go get a lamb from backyard. And bring it to me. Let me cook it like he likes it to like he likes to eat it. And the brother said, Mom, I know me and Esau, we're brothers, but we are different. I don't want my father to put a curse on me when he finds out that I am deceiving him. And the mom said, Let the curse be on me. You go do what I told you to do and do it now. The boy went, grabbed whatever, whether it was goat, whether it was whatever. He took it, gave it to the mom. The mom cooked it. And Jacob went to the father, disguising like his brother, wearing the brother's clothing. Smelt like the brother. Felt like the brother. To Isaac. Isaac suspected something was funny. But he was blind. I pray, I pray that you will not be blind in the name of Jesus. There was something in the inside of him that told him, 
that something is funny over here. Who are you? Says, I'm Esau, your firstborn. Come, let me feel you. Felt like Esau. He sat down, ate the food, and Bible says, this is where I'm going, and Bible says, it wasn't long that Jacob left with the blessing that Esau walked right in. When you get home, I want you to read the whole chapter and you will find out that Yes, Jacob tricked the father. The mother supplanted the blessing. But if Esau had come on time, somebody shout on time. The Bible says that when he came in, he brought in the food that had been cooked. And I was asking myself the question, hmm, Somebody shout maximize now. You see, you've got to know how to handle now. You've got to make now a project. You see, he played with now. He went, he caught the game. He probably went into the backyard. Tore apart the game. Boiled it. Did all of that. Maybe he sat by the fire, the cooking fire. He must have. The father says, go get me something so that I can put a blessing upon your life. At least, after coming from the forest, if he was a good manager of time, on putting that on the fire, he ought to have checked up on the dad. Hey dad, just to let you know that I'm back, I am going to be right back. Give me five minutes. He's already on the fire. But he disregarded time. He did not respect time. He just felt that the blessing would be waiting for him whenever he showed up. Oh, he wasn't too late. But he was late. He didn't have to be too late to miss the blessing. He only had to be late to meet the blessing. Bible says, just when Jacob stepped out, he walked in. He walked in. Then he goes, hey dad, get up, arise. I've cooked the food just like you like it. You say, what? Well, so when I told you, I was hungry. But this time, I'm not hungry anymore. I really wanted a deer. I really wanted an antelope. I really wanted a game. That was my desire. But in time, the lamb came, the goat came, the ram came, the chicken came, in time, and I had it. Now, I am full. Even if I bless you right now, I am going to be blessing you out of the flesh. This is very important. Some of us, we don't want to be a blessing until we have made it. We don't have the time to bless people around us until the time that we have chosen. It's important that you reach out to people when they are in need. The same principle when you begin to read about the giving in the Bible, in terms of the offerings, 
that God stipulated for us to give. God told us specifically when to give the offering. I cited the example for you from 1 Kings chapter 19 when Elijah brought in the, the prophets of Baal and he said they should make sacrifice and call the God and let the God, the real God, answer by fire. They started in the morning. Apart from the fact that they didn't have a real God to call anyway. But they did not make their own sacrifice at the right time. They made their sacrifice in the morning and in the afternoon, nothing happened. But Bible says Elijah made his own sacrifice at the time of offering. At the time of offering. In fact, he told them to pour water on the cow. Pour water on the cow. Pour water on the cow. And before he could even say Jack Robinson, fire answered him from heaven. Because of the timing. Because of the timing. Thank you for watching Winning Ways Express, the dynamic ministry of Pastor Femi Fasheru. For today's messages or other messages of Pastor Femi, please visit us at KICC Maryland, 13 Okilane Mende, or visit our website, www.kiccnigeria.org, or email admin at kiccnigeria.org. If you would like to talk or pray with someone about an issue that you are facing, call 01 899 or 01 899 double three or 0805 605 2300 and remember it's not over until you win